guys today we are seeing another cargo trailer we made for china domestic market unfortunately we have to use the stocking tire which means uh, it looks a little bit uh, bad but all the others are the brand new so here is the canvas bucket and uh, here is the same as other trailers with the braking line and uh, ABS and the electricity socket. This is our nameplate and this is a side light, roof hook, and the bulkhead, the blue, the green color one. Sorry. Okay, in the bulkhead it has our brand and our the advertisement. We put three VRN on all our cargo trailers. So two in the side beam and one in the main beam. Let's have a look at about the main beam. Okay. Nine inches campaign and uh, landing gear, double side operation with uh, side protection in the left and the right side. Another we are in, in the right side and this is the we are in on the frame here is uh, the side protection and two two box this is the old tire we use for transporting and on the disc brakes because i asked them to use uh, one single tire we can have uh, more close view about the disc brake if they put two tires on then we'd have a less space to see the disc brake uh, axle. This is disc brake, and that is a disc uh, brake air chamber. The air chamber pushes the, the rod and the dishes would brake itself. And also we put the lift spring, sorry, air, air bag spring suspension for the new regulation in China. So all this type of trailer in China from now on, they must use uh, the disc brake and uh, airbag suspension. Okay, today we are going to go inside the cargo trailer and have a look what's going on inside and uh, how those things are working. Let's open the door first. The door here, you need to open this one first, then open this one. Uh, sorry, okay. And then you need to open this one first. And then open this one. Okay, it's very powerful. And just uh, pull the rod like this. The locking bar with it from the locking position to the open position. Now we have the door open. Let's go to the top. Okay, now we're on the top. We can see each post, each pair of the posts, they have a cable holding them each other in case they are clubbing down. On the top, we also have a, a steel bar to make sure the two posts are contacting each other and these are the dropping side and those are the walls on the top this is the canvas bone the canvas bone is removable let's remove one have a look this one is quite heavy let's open this one i cannot open all right let's change another one is it possible? Okay, this one. This one. Okay, so we have a hole here. Hope you can see it. Yeah, it's here. And then we use those. Uh, where is it? Yeah, this one to put it in. Then they would come the camera spoon. It looks like this. 
And so we can put the canvas or trampoline from the top to the rear. This is how we do it in China. And that you can see that is the dropping deck because that in the front, you need that deck to contacting the tractor. So it is a dropping deck. This is the cargo deck. You can also put the cargo on in the front, but it is a little bit higher. So it has less volume than the rear. And in the front, that's bulkhead. And all the others are the posts and the cables and the steel bars. That's everything inside. Oh, by the way, the floor. Sorry about the dust. The weather here is, is like this. A lot of dust. You can see the floor and the deck is quite smooth. So you can put the bags inside and very easily to uh, just push it to the rear door. You can also choose another type of the deck with the checked plate, just different options. Okay, let's get down from here. Close the door. At the bottom of the trailer again, one more time. Here is the air reserve tank, air bags, and air bags, uh, leaf spring. You cannot be called the leaf spring. Just call it like the suspension part. And those are the shocking observe cylinders. And these are the disc brake we can. Once we have uh, no tire on it, we can see more clear. The tire was mounted on to there. And then you can have the disc brake here. This is the ABS sensor. Those are the ABS ring. When the ABS ring runs, it gives to the pulse signal to the sensor. Then the sensor gives the signal passing those this line to the monitor. That's why they call it a 2S2M or 4S2M, something like that. All right, very easy. Let's get out. So the old tire looks very ugly. I apologize for the old tire I asked him to put. But it gives us more clear view about how air suspension looks like inside. See? One tire less, you can have a one tire more space to see how it looks like inside. So it looks like this. Okay, the toolbox and the drop side, side protection, landing gear again. I think this would be all for today. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. If you like our videos, please uh, subscribe or hit the like button at the bottom. Thank you very much. See you guys next time. Bye bye.